Hey, what is up guys? I'm Greg Builds, and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode, we're going to create an easy to build, ultra modern styled house. This house has two large support bases, and there's also three levels of living space, and there's even a rooftop kitchen. This modern house also has three wraparound decks at the back, as well as decks in the front of the house. This house has stunning views, and has many windows, and you'll be able to see 360 degrees from this stylish house. Now this build is broken down into 10 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. Also, this modern house is roughly 14 by 21 blocks wide, and it is 18 blocks tall. And these dimensions are helpful if you're building inside of a neighborhood, and you need to know how close you can build next to another house. Now here's a complete list of the materials you'll need to build this house. Now if white concrete is too hard to find in your survival world, you can use diorite blocks. Or you could even use white wool blocks instead. Also, this entire build project will require a 14 block area by 21 block area spacing, and I mark my area out with coarse dirt blocks, and you could do the same, and that way we know how big the layout is before we start the build. Step 1. First let's create the stone base for the house. We'll need 216 stone blocks and 4 oak doors. At the back left corner, move over 3 dirt blocks, then back an additional 2 blocks. Then let's make a 10 wide stone row. Then make the side a total of 15 blocks wide. Then let's connect back to the start. Next, let's add 4 additional stone blocks to each corner, and that will make a column that is a total of 5 blocks tall. Then at the side of the 5th stone block up, let's connect a cross beam around. And this will connect all four columns together. Then let's fill in the top with stone blocks. Next, let's add in doors in the front. To do this, move over to the 5th stone block. Then remove the 5th and 6th block, and add in 2 doors. Then let's add a stone border around the doors. Then let's do the same exact pattern for the back side. To refresh, remove the 5th and 6th block. Then add in 2 doors, and add a border around the doors. Step 2. Next let's add in the second level. We'll need 180 white concrete and 4 oak doors. Now if white concrete is too hard to find, you can use diorite blocks, or you could even use white wool blocks instead, but I'm going to use white concrete. Start this step by making a 10 wide concrete row along the back. Then make the side a total of 12 blocks wide. Then connect back around. Then 
Then let's add four additional white concrete blocks on top. And I'll make the column a total of five concrete blocks tall. Then let's make a crossbeam at the fifth concrete block up and wrap all the way around. Then let's fill in the center with white concrete blocks. Then we can add in oak doors in the center. Also, add a concrete frame around the doors. Then let's repeat for the back side. Step 3. Next let's make the third level. For this step we'll need 150 stone blocks and 4 oak doors. At the back of the house make a 10 wide row of stone. Then make the side a total length of 9 blocks long. Then we could connect back to the start. Then let's add 4 blocks to the corner. And now make the wall a total of 5 blocks tall. Then once all the columns are completed, we can add a crossbeam at the fifth block up. Then we can fill in the center. Next was adding a doorway at the 5th and 6th block over. Then add a frame around the doors. Then we could do the same for the back. To refresh, add two oak doors in the center. Then add a frame around the doors. Next, for this step, let's also add an additional blocks to the side. Then add additional blocks on this side as well. Step 4. Next we'll add in the 4th level. We'll need 30 spruce planks and 2 oak doors. At the back wall of the house, make a row of spruce planks that is 10 blocks wide. Then we can add 2 more rows on top. And I'll make the finished wall a total of 3 spruce planks tall. Next let's add 2 oak doors in the center. Step 5. Next let's add in the spruce side supports. We'll need 72 spruce stairs. At the front side of the house, let's move back 4 spaces. Then move over 1 space. Then let's add a spruce stair. Then we can add an upside down stair along the back side. Then place the next stair on top of this one. Then add another upside down one in the back. Then add one on top and upside down one in the back. Then we can continue this pattern upwards. And we can stop this pattern once we are flush with the spruce wall at the very, very top. And this will add support to the building while also giving it a unique architectural style.
Then once completed, let's add an identical one on the other side. To refresh, move back four spaces, then move over one space. Then let's add a spruce there. Then place an upside down stair along the back side. Then we can continue this pattern until we are flush with the spruce wall at the very top. Step 6. Next, let's work on the back decks. We'll need 114 stone blocks, 116 oak planks, 34 white concrete, and 96 white glass panes. First, let's add a stone patio at the base. At the side wall, extend out two blocks. Then make the stone border level with the ground, and make it one block of spacing away from the outer wall. Then we can continue this border to the other side of the house. Next was to fill in between with oak planks. And we can do this by removing the grass and adding in oak planks. Next was to add in the next level deck at the fifth stone block up. Also, make sure this one lines up with the side of the white concrete wall. Then we can leave a similar one block of spacing from the wall, all the way around. Then let's add in oak planks in between. Then we can add in glass panes along the edge. Next we can add in a third level deck. In this deck we can make out of white concrete. And again, if white concrete is too difficult to find, you can use diorite blocks or even white wool. At the fifth white concrete block up, extend out two blocks from behind the spruce stairs. Then let's leave a one block gap of spacing between the wall and the frame of the deck. And wrap this frame all the way around to the other side. Then let's fill in the center with oak planks. Then we can fill in the edge with glass panes. Next, let's make the fourth level deck. And from the back corner of the house, move over three spaces. Then add two stone blocks. Then wrap the stone border all the way around to the other side and leave a one block gap of spacing. Then we can fill the center with oak planks, just like the rest of the decks. Then we can finish the top deck by adding in glass panes along the top edge. Step 7. Next, let's work on the front decks and windows. We'll need 322 white glass panes for this step. At the first level, we can add in a glass railing along the front edge. Then we can add a railing for the next level. And 
and then we can enclose the largest top roof deck with glass panes as well. Then let's add in glass panes in the window openings. And we can do this for all three levels. And don't forget to fill the windows in on all sides of the house. Step 8. Next up is the interior walls and stairs. We'll need 78 stone blocks, 3 oak doors, 104 spruce planks, 10 spruce stairs, 1 trap door, and 5 ladders. Inside the house, let's replace the grass with spruce planks. Then once completed, let's add in stone interior walls. And let's start at the back left corner. Make a five wide row next to the door. Then make a dividing wall. Then clear a spot for a door. Then leave another opening for a doorway. Then add in five more stone blocks. Then add in a block behind it. And then we can leave the space back here open as the staircase will go in here. Then raise the walls upwards. Next let's make another room at the right side of the back door, add in a row of 5 stone blocks. Then we can extend over and place a door in the center. Then let's add in a staircase up to the second level. Then up here on the second level, we can extend the staircase up to the third level. Then once we get up to the third level, we can add in a ladder along the right side. And at the top of the ladder, we can add in a trap door. And this will help give us access to the rooftop deck. Step nine, next let's work on the front landscaping. Now you can do this in any way you prefer, but if you'd like to do the same landscaping as me, you will need eight stone blocks and eight spruce fence posts. At the side of the front doors, let's add in a row of four stone blocks. Then let's add another row of four stone blocks on the other side. Then we could use a shovel and remove the top layer of grass. And you could do this by right clicking if you're on a PC. Then let's add spruce fence posts on top of the stone blocks. Next let's remove the dirt blocks on the side. And we can add in water.
Then lastly, we're going to replace the extra coarse dirt blocks with grass blocks. Step 10. Lastly is the interior, and I'll leave this completely up to you. However, I'll quickly show you how I did mine. Also, as a bonus, many of you requested to see how my house looks like without the texture pack, as well as without shaders. So if you're using the standard default Minecraft graphics, this is how the house will look like. And again, there's many websites where you can get Minecraft texture packs and shader packs. But if you'd like the ones that I use, they're down in the description. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create build tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Want more build tutorials? I have many other playlists that might interest you on my channel. Make sure to check them out.